everyone, and thank you for joining us for another episode of Ion Hako. My name is Nicole. Hi everyone, and my name is Kenta. And today we will be discussing the FA400 and the FA430. Yeah, yeah. 400 and the 430. So what is it? For what is the 400? Kenta, why don't you tell our viewers what the FA400 and the 430 are? Sure. So they're both um, smoke absorbers and fume extractors. Um, what we want to be talking about today is um, fumes, solder smoke, and how to try to take that solder smoke away from you so that you're not directly inhaling all that solder smoke because it can be toxic. Right. And uh, like Nicole said, we'll be talking about the FA400 and the FA430 today. Yep. So let's give our viewers just a little bit of the differences between the two before sure. we go into each. Um, this compact um, fan that I have here is the FA400. It's a single use, much more compact, bench top type station. Whereas the one on Nicole's side, which you can see the round nozzle attached to a duct, that's the FA430, which is, uh, it can be a single use or a dual use type, uh, much mm -hmm. more robust industrial use type of fume extractor. Right. So we'll start off with the FA400 first, that's on Kent's side, yep. and we'll get into the other one after. Sure. Okay. So this is the FA400, like I said, it's a bench top, compact, uh, it's ESD safe by design. Um, it's basically a fan, um, single on-off switch, no speed control, just a simple on and off switch. There is a replaceable carbon activated filter up in the front. When it gets used up, all you do is simply take it off, get a new one, and place it back in like so. There's a few different ways you can actually use the FA430. One way is to use it, um, placing it vertically like this. Another way you can use it is to lay it horizontally like so, and mm -hmm. the smoke gets sucked in through these two channels right here. And another way is you can purchase a separate accessory, like a mounting bracket, and hold the, uh, the fan up above your workbench. Right, so you should see a slide that shows what the mounting um, bracket looks like mm -hmm. with the 400. And on the FA 400, um, the air, what do you call it, the air, airflow capacity <laughs> yes. is about 40 CFMs um, when used uh, vertically. And when used horizontally, uh, that number changes to about 20 because of the size of these channels compared to here. Okay. Um, and the type of industries that might use the FA400? Anyone can use the FA400. Anyone from DIY, hobbyist uh, people to schools, uh, schools also. Um, mm -hmm. Small shops where you have only like maybe one to five operators, they can also use this as a compact um, option for smoke, smoke um, absorbing. Right. Um, it's just a nice way to get all that smoke away from you so that you're not directly breathing it in. So one thing I, I do want to mention about the filter, like I said, it's a replaceable filter. Yes. Um, so how do you know when to replace the filter? Right. Um, one way you can tell is by as you're using it up, the black uh, surface on the filter, it'll start to, you'll start to see like a, like a whitish color. Okay. Turn black to white. Another way you can tell is by weighing the actual filter. Um, brand How do you new. Know when? Yeah. So brand new, the filter weighs about 12 grams. Okay. And then it has a maximum absorption capacity of about four grams. So once you start using it, you weigh it before, you weigh it after. So 12 plus four. Once the filter weighs about 16 grams, then you also know that it's time to replace your uh, filter. Up front. So smart, you're giving us a lesson in math too. <laughs> Thanks, Kenta. I think it's important that we show yeah, our viewers show what it looks like. How useful it is. With the FA400. Maybe do it with the FA400 not on first, uh, first. and then do it. So I have a simple work with piece. It on. Like so, and I'm just going to grab some solder. And here we go. So if I'm soldering without any kind of smoke absorber, and I'm soldering, the I'll smoke is just a little bit. I mean, the smoke is just going right up in your face. I don't know. It's all up in my face. <laughs> it's actually. in your face. Not cool. Not at all. So it's really not good for the operators to be breathing this in. Right. Right. So if I bring the FA four four hundred, excuse me. To bring it closer. Is that better? There you go. Okay. And then I work here. All that smoke that was coming into my face. <laughs> it's not in your face. Not in my face no more. 
So again, whenever you're doing, dealing with any kind of uh, burning solder, you're working on some applications like this, good idea to have some sort of smoke absorbing option available to the operator so that you are not inhaling all the smoke. Okay. That's the horizontal way to use right. it. So now if you place it... This is the way you use it. Uh, I mean, this is the horizontal way, sorry. The <laughs> other way was the vertical way. <laughs> So then if you use it vertically, take this off. And you can use it both ways. Okay. Like so. And the other way is if you use the mounting bracket, the brackets mount to these two knobs right here. And then you can pretty much mount it up. That is the FA-400. Uh, the FA-430. Yes. A little bit different than the 400, more industrial. More industrial. Right? Um, um, I think it's important that our viewers know you're only seeing the duct here. The body of it is down um, below the workstation. So we're going to put up a slide uh, to give you an idea of what the entire unit looks like. All right. It has two filters. Two filters, that's right. But it's a three-stage filtration system. That's right. Um, there are two duct options, two okay. duct... Duct kits. <laughs> yes. Duct ki optional duct kits available. Correct. Uh, one is the round nozzle, like you see there. And another one is a rectangular nozzle we also have available for the FA430. Right. You should be seeing both options on the, um, on the slide right now. And the difference between the two, just to explain a little bit, is the round nozzle, like you see there, is meant to be uh, placed above mm -hmm. the workbench. And, and the, the rectangular, rectangular is, is meant, meant to be, to be used on the workstation yes. itself. Yes, exactly right. The, mac the max suction mm -hmm. is 4.1. Yeah, which is about 146 CFMs. Okay. The noise level is 50 decibels. Yep. The static pressure is 1,500 pascals. Pascals, yep. Right? Mm -hmm. And the stand, there's a standard efficiency filter. Yes, the filter efficiency on the standard filters is rated at greater than 98%. But then there's also the, the upgrade. Yeah, the optional upgrade filter combination that you can also purchase separately. Uh, if you do that, the filter efficiency rating goes up from 98% to 99.97%. Yep. Um, another difference is that the FA430, um, unlike the FA400, you can use also as a dual dual system where you can have two ducts for two operators right. on one single uh, station. Right. So that's very good. Uh, different airflow levels, low, medium, and high, um, and indicator lights. Right, which we will show you in a little bit. We'll put the station up so you can actually see where the indicator lights yep. and we'll filters show you are. The filters yep, and the indicator lights um, later on. Before we get into that, um, I think it's good to also see how it works with the station on yeah. and That's with a the good idea. on. Yeah. All right, so without without the without the duct. FA430. Right. If I'm just, mm -hmm. if you notice, the smoke is it's literally coming straight mm -hmm. at me. Burn it! Burn it! Burn it! It just goes directly. <coughs> if you don't have any type of fume extractors or smoke absorbers, the smoke literally just goes directly up into right. the it's operator's face. Right. It's not safe. It smells. So, it's if I turn the FA430 on, this is at its medium setting. And Kenta, can you bring the hose and the duct so bring that it above your workbench? If you notice now, it's going straight in. <laughs> And you can see that big difference Absolutely. before and after. Yep. Okay. Yep. So again, anytime people are um, dealing with solder, uh, burning solder, which produces solder fumes, solder smoke, uh, they want to be using some form of uh, fume extractor or smoke absorber to take all that smoke away right. from your lungs so you're not breathing it in directly much more single-use FA-400 or a much more industrial dual-use type FA-430 we have available right. here at Hako. And with the 
30. Let's bring yep. the bottom portion of it up so that our viewers can mm. see where the indicator lights are. So you'll need to know when it's time to switch your filter. So this is what the actual FA430 uh, station looks like. Uh, um, people usually put this under, underneath the workbench and the ducts come, get placed above the workbench. Right, like as you see here. And there are indicator lights on the front of the actual station, one that says pre for pre-filter and one that says main for main filter. When it comes time to replace those filters, the, the individual lights will start to blink, pre-filter for the pre and the main filter for the main. When that happens, you take the uh, airflow adjustment knob, turn it all the way to its reset position. It'll, the station will turn itself off and then use this latch like that. Open it up and you'll have access to the filters. Inside, what it looks like is this. This is the main filter. Mm -hmm. You could take the main filter out like that. And on top of the main filter is the simpler pre-filter. Right. All right, we have a question. We have a Bob question. Wants to know, do these work on all CNC? What are you talking about? Uh, so the question is, do these work on all fumes? Do these work on all fumes? Um, I'm not sure what kind of other fumes that you are referring to, but this uh, these units were mainly met, uh, meant to uh, take away the solder solder fumes, solder smoke away from you. Um, you can't. I don't recommend or don't. Please don't use this for like uh, flammable gases or vapors because they're not meant to be used in those types of uh, applications. Right. So this is the actual, the two filters that Nicole was talking about yes. previously. Yep. This is the pre-filter and this again is the main filter. Yep. Sorry. Thank you for holding it. So two filters but it has, we, she also mentioned that it's a three-stage filtration process. So this is one and inside the, uh, the main filter there's the pleated version up, up on top and on the bottom there's the carbon activated portion on the bottom. So one, two, three make it a three-stage filtration process by the use of two filters. Um, also, what I noticed, Kenta, yeah. before you put it back in, no, there's okay. a white button. Can you explain, oh, yeah. maybe show it to the viewers yeah, and explain yeah. what that white button is? So let me grab this main filter for me. Okay. So the main filter sits in the station like so. Right. Like that. Right. And the white switch she's talking about is actually right here. It gets pushed down when the filter is in its position and released once the filter is replaced. And that acts as like a, like a switch to let the unit know when the main filter has been replaced. Kay. So every time you reset the, uh, the indicator light, uh, it'll know to reset the lights. And all you do is when you're placing it, make sure this is facing forward. Place the filter inside. Close down the latches and bring it now back from its reset position to its uh, use, whether you're using it medium, low, medium, or high, just bring it back to its original position, okay. and it'll start back up. And um, then you can show them where the This is where the ducts attached, and on the, and bottom, on the bottom is the exhaust vents. Yep. There you go. Also, ESD safe. Both units are ESD safe. Very important. Yes. Oh, Kent is so strong. How heavy is <laughs> How, heavy, how much does it weigh? Oh, it's not that heavy at all. It's about 15, 15 pounds. Not that strong. So someone, skinny guy like me, could even <laughs> hold it up, no problem. No problem. Kenta, did you notice anything I noticed today? your nice pink nails match the nice pink grip on that FN 2027. Yes, yes. I mean, it looks really nice. Is that a new color that we have? You know, that's a good question, Kenta. Yeah. This pink grip, the part number is B5259. We are doing a promotion mm. from September to November in honor of breast cancer awareness. That's nice. It's our first annual Hako Fights Breast Cancer. Yes, and the pink grip can be purchased. Uh, separately if you want to just get the pink grip which is compatible only with the FM 2027 mm -hmm. very important you know that or you can um, purchase it with some products that we have yep. and if you want more information on our breast cancer awareness promotion please visit our website hakousa.com for more information yep. well that's I it. guess that's it for today. today so until next time Remember, make sure keep, keep your, your eye on, on Hako, Hako. Have a good holiday weekend. Enjoy.
Can you hear me? That order? Number nine?